The bug realm is a slaughterhouse with butchers on every blade of grass. No one is safe. When a flame-bellied orb weaver and a longicorn beetle bring out the blades, there will be blood. Like a nightmare from a horror show, the longicorn beetle is like a flying chainsaw. In Costa Rica, there's a widespread myth that they can saw a branch off a tree just by hooking on with their jaws and flying in a circle. The longicorn beetle is built like a ground-to-air wood chopping machine. Body and wings are protected by heavy armor. Two grappling hooks on each foot help it cling to trees. Even the antennae are thick and tough. The antennas serve as sensors for smelling, for contact chemoreception. Another notable feature of the antenna are their length. This is not something that a predator would want to have to deal with while also having to fend off those powerful jaws. Those jaws are like razor-sharp axes, able to shear straight through timber. They're very powerful and could crush another animal in a heartbeat or tear it clean in half. The longicorn beetle prefers its diet of wood but it won't shrink from fighting the most vicious predators. One of them is a neighboring flame-bellied orb weaver. It sits and waits. A patient executioner, wearing its orange markings like team colors. This is just a tough, aggressive orb weaver that's able to capture big things that come into the web, get in there, bite it, and wrap it. This mobile attacker has multiple eyes. But it's those extra sensitive feet that turn the web into long-range radar. By building this orb web, it's able to extend its sensory system and feel vibrations from around it from quite a large distance. When a cricket wanders in, there's no mistaking the dinner bell. It grabs the prey and starts swathing it with silk. And then as soon as it's safe, it'll get in there and bite. The flame-bellied orb weaver injects its powerful neurotoxins. The cricket is soon paralyzed and devoured. But will the victory come quite so easily when the armored woodcutter tangles with a high-wire hitman? Next, a deadly trap for vicious players. In the forest, a wood-eating longicorn beetle flits from tree to tree, gorging on bark. Nearby, a flame-bellied orb weaver is primed to strike. The flame-bellied orb weaver has super sticky silk and potent venom. The longicorn beetle has size and strength with heavy body armor and shredding mandibles. Who will survive? The beetle has fed well tonight, perhaps too well. Heading homeward, its concentration lapses. And it's snared in the orb weaver's trap. 
In a frenzy, the flame belly throws silk bandages around its victim. This is now a battle between silk and scissors. The beetle's only chance of survival is to use those mandibles to cut through the web before the spider has a chance to deliver a bite. The spider must work fast. One wrong move, and the longicorn's timber-tearing jaws could sever a leg, even chop its opponent in half. This beetle has these big jaws, and it's struggling hard. The spider knows that it's potentially a really dangerous opponent. The flame belly's spinnerets work overtime. She circles the larger beetle, wrapping constantly. In a last ditch effort, the beetle pierces the silken death shroud with its mandibles. But the spider keeps a safe distance. These guys might munch through bark like it's butter, but when you're wrapped up in one of the world's strongest spider silks and you're under attack, getting that chainsaw fired up and into action is no easy proposition. For the longicorn beetle, time is fast running out. And predator and prey are locked together in a spiral dance of death. The spider probes for a chink in the tough armor. Delivers a toxic bite. And retreats to the middle of the web, confident that its venom will do the rest. All that remains is for the flame-bellied orb weaver to haul its dinner up and feast. The airborne woodcutter has taken its last flight.